Hey everybody, Stacy here. Just had a little technical difficulty. The whole tripod fell over into the canvas. I think I fixed it. Hope it doesn't do it again. Okay, there we go. Um, again, I'm trying to work up to working on glass. I've done a little bit, but I felt like I needed a break, so I'm gonna do a little another one of these ocean flip cups that. I'm doing for that friend of mine. The other one was pretty. It just didn't have enough green in it. So I'm doing another one. And that's really full. That's going to be hard to flip. Ooh, I did pretty good. Um, I used to flip them really hard. Because that's easy to keep the paint from sealing when you do that. But then I realized it was making indentations in the canvas. Not good. Better to let a little paint go. Than dent your canvas up. So... Anyway, this one's got some hunter, hooker screen that has a little fluorescent green added to it just to separate it from the phthalo green. And the phthalo green is that Liquitex phthalo green, which is to me the prettiest phthalo green there is. Um, it's almost kind of blue green looking, but it's really pretty. And um, then I have some phthalo blue, some Prussian blue, some turquoise, um, and some light olive green by master's touch and uh some viridian by master's touch and i think that's about it i meant to put some white but i forgot so here we go let's see Ooh, really pretty mm. Ooh, look at all those cells cool I love that light olive green. It's similar to the um, um, what am I thinking? The color, uh, color. Uh, well, it's similar to my Arteza green and to the color shift green that I had. They're kind of that same color, and they almost look yellow when you mix them with other colors. It almost looks yellow, but um, it's not. I really like the way this looks so far. I think this is better. It's got a lot more green in it. It's got the phthalo green, and it's got the hooker's green, and it's got the... Oh, there's also some color shift uh, aquamarine in there that I added some um, fluorescent blue to to make it a little deeper because it was too close to the viridian. This is the Viridian, this color right here, and the aqua blue is maybe that color there, I don't know. Anyway, they look too similar, so I added some blue to the one to make them stand out a little bit. Um, and y'all know I love my phthalo green, and, and I love my phthalo blue, and my Prussian blue, I gotta have those. You know, they just, to me, they just make a painting. They're just so beautiful colors. Um, you just can't uh, make an ocean colored painting without them, if you ask me. Well, I'm eating up all my cells on the corners, so I'll do a little circling. See what that does. Bring these cell areas out and I think when we torch we'll get some more cells but until we do that let's see what we can do here because it really so far it has not sealed up like I wanted it to so let's try to I want some more of that blue around there in the middle so I'll pull that around. And there's some cells over there on that side that I'd like to pull in. But I wanna get this blue picked up down here. Suck that into it. And then, see how I got moved that celled area out into the middle. And um, it brought some more celled area down from the top. And 
brought that blue out into play a little better. And see, I'm gonna let a little bit of that run off. lose a little paint here somewhere yeah it's gonna make some more cells I just know it it just needs time is that that end or not See how that does. I like that blue part. There's not a whole lot going up and going on in that top right corner though. I can uh, I can do something about that. I'm gonna keep my blue dark blue up there, I don't want to lose that. There. Now, see what I did was stretch all that pretty cell activity into the middle. And um, I moved those lines they're still there in some places, but I mainly moved them off. And we have now areas that will probably sell better. Let's see what we can do. I don't know how that got uncovered, but... I don't want to pour any more over that way. So I'll just dribble some out of my hand. All right. Now then. Uh oh. What's that? A little bare area. Okay, I'm going to dry my hands. I'm going to torch it again. I bet you it's going to sell up better. colors are really pretty. It's got a lot more green in it. That's what I wanted. I'm just not seeing the cells that I wanted, but maybe when we torch we'll get some better cells going on. Oh, and this has a little gray in it, too. I forgot to mention a little blue-gray. You can see the lines through there. I never can get those color shift paints to sell really they don't seem to want to sell very good um, and so this time I used the light olive 
green that's Master's Touch instead, and it's doing a lot better job of actually selling up. Uh, I don't know why those color shift paints don't seem to do that, but for me they don't. I don't know. Um, just not very much. You know, a few cells here and there, but not, not very much. I've seen, I've seen that happen with almost all of them. I've just never seen them do very much. They're pretty, and they have the color shift thing. This is really interesting down here, really pretty. Maybe they make up for it in the color shiftness. I don't know. Um, to be honest, I haven't used them that much, and I've never really observed the color shift quality when they're dry. I bought these, and I've got a few that are dry now, but I haven't really looked at them to see how they're doing. Oh, that's much better. Um, I see a bare area up here. How about I get here and here? And maybe there. That happens sometimes when you don't use a base coat. Um, I'm still not going to use a base coat, even though that happens. Um, because it's easy enough to correct. You just dab a little paint on there and it's fine. Um, I think that the base coats are so wasteful that I save a lot of money um, not doing them. And I don't ever seem to have any problems other than like this. Every now and then there'll be something on the edge that um, looks white and I just get a little paint that has drizzled off the sides and dab it on there and problem solved. So um, I don't have any real problems because of it. If I start having real problems, I'll change it. I mean, like I said, I have said before, uh, I will cut corners if I can, uh, if it's going to save money because money means more paint that I can buy. And if I can do that and get away with it, I'm going to do it. If it starts to hamper my work, I'll change it, you know. But, you know, every little bit helps if you can cut corners. And I just don't see the point of putting a big coat of paint on there that's just going to get covered up and poured off. Um, let's look at this up close. I just don't. Um, if you do, keep doing them. But, um... I just don't much see the point. So I quit doing them. And um, I have been um, okay. You know, every now and then I'll have to dab some extra paint on those little spots. But if that's the worst thing that happens, I'm okay with that. I like this one. I think it's pretty. It's um, pretty much what I wanted. An ocean-like green and blue. I want to see more green than that last one. The last one was mostly blue. This one's more green and this is what I wanted. So that's good. All right. That's pretty up in there. Thank y'all for joining me. As always, I appreciate you supporting my channel and being here. Um, if you're into the stained glass, check out the stained glass videos I'm working on. There's some more tutorials and stuff. If you're just starting out, maybe maybe you need some help. Maybe they'll help you. All right, cool. Thanks for being here, guys. Have a good day.